On the 30th of October this year, the capital of Afghanistan saw its first ever professional boxing match. The fight that would have been banned under Taliban rule was dubbed the fight for peace. In Kabul, Hamid Rahimi of Afghanistan took on Saeed Mbelwa of Tanzania for the WBO Intercontinental Middleweight Belt. Watched in the stadium by prominent Afghan figures, including politicians as well as thousands of Afghan citizens from different ethnic groups, Rahimi won the fight in the seventh round. Though born in Kabul, 29-year-old Hamid Rahimi has lived in Germany since he was nine. Hamid Rahimi, welcome to Euronews. Recently you took part in a boxing match that you dubbed the fight for peace. In a country that's been at war for 30 or 40 years, could this fight really change anything? Considerably. I strongly believe in the project's impact. It took two years of hard work to make it happen. Much has been invested in it for it to succeed, and it's something I really care about. I've been in Germany for 20 years. I didn't come here just for German citizenship. I came here because there's peace in this country. My dream for Afghanistan is to take back and establish peace in my homeland. I've already felt war. I've lived through it. War is a hopeless misery. War does nothing for peace and tranquility. War has taken the lives of many people in Afghanistan, and I believe there are more victims of war in Afghanistan than anywhere else in the world. You said that one of the fight's objectives was to support women's rights. I also saw on YouTube that you train female boxers in Afghanistan. Do you not feel you're moving too fast for Afghan society considering that under the Taliban, women were not even allowed to work or go out? Growing up in Germany with my sister and mother, I was always the protector, like a lion. I learned so much from them. If they had not supported me, I could never have been so successful. I think we should be close to our sisters and mothers. They must go to school. They must be able to work shoulder to shoulder next to men. If we want our homeland, Afghanistan, to advance and progress, this is very important for me. Many people in Afghanistan today compare you to Muhammad Ali. They say that he fought to help black people, and you fight for the Afghan people. Do you think that one day you could achieve what Muhammad Ali did? Well, Ali is a legend. He helped the African people, black people, a lot. He's my idol, my hero. But me, I'm Hamid, and Ali is Ali. I try to do everything for my country. I think it's possible to establish peace. But there has to be the desire, the will to do it. If not, then even if there are thousands of military forces there, they will not be able to create peace. Alexander the Great, Genghis Khan, the British, and even the Russians have come before. And right now there are soldiers from over 52 countries in Afghanistan. But what have they done? The Afghan people are more miserable than ever. I know Kabul very well, and the inhabitants of this city. The situation has deteriorated compared to the time of the Taliban. There were not as many poor children in the streets as you see today. After the foreigners came, it's true that some things have changed for the better. Schools have been built, but I think with all the money that they've spent, they could do better. Today, there are a small number of Afghans who become billionaires, and then the rest of the people are very poor. Look, there are many children from ordinary families who do not go to school. They become beggars instead, working 24-7. Do you call that an improvement? Do you call this help? These children don't even have a place to sleep. They take drugs, and you can see that they have broken teeth. These are the children that go on to become suicide bombers. So you think we should change the culture and ideologies of people? Yes, that's exactly right. That's what I'm thinking. When you walk across Afghanistan, Kabul for example, you see the images of heroes everywhere. People, I will not name them, that become important thanks to their military career. 
I want to change that. I want sporting champions to take the place of the military or the soldier. My idol when I was young was Michael Jordan. From Germany to the United States, it is pictures of sports champions that hang on the walls. I want this to also be the case in Afghanistan. Whether or not bin Laden is alive, his ideas are still present. Four or five months ago, an 11-year-old detonated a bomb in Paktia. Bin Laden is dead, but his thoughts and beliefs remain alive. Young people must be told that suicide bombings are wrong. It's forbidden by the Quran. Do sport if you want to become a champion. Do good things if you want peace. Don't kill anyone. Don't destroy anything if you believe in God. Let him decide for the others, not you. I am nobody to decide whether to kill someone because they're an infidel. I'm not allowed to do that. You're popular and you have strong convictions for peace in Afghanistan. Doesn't that upset the Taliban? Have they never threatened you to make you stop what you're doing? The Taliban is not the only enemy of my country. There were many others who are opposed to my project. But it does not lead to anything. These threats and obstacles are numerous in Afghanistan. But it's these same threats that stimulate me and encourage me and help me to keep going. If I withdraw now, peace will never return to the country. You know, on the day of my fight, all Afghans, from the street kids in Karzai to women who had never seen a boxing match, and all our fathers and grandfathers, all of them prayed for me. Their prayers protect me, so I'm afraid of nothing. I only fear God. And I am firm in my desire to move forward. I lived through the war for nine years, and I know that in a time of war you need to be helped. If not, then you're let down. In everything that you've told me, I see that you have one major concern, the policy and the situation of the Afghan people. Might you go into politics one day in the same way that Vitaly Klitschko, the Ukrainian world champion, has done? I don't want to go into politics as such, but it has already been offered. In politics you have different factions and parties, but I want to be with the entity of the Afghan people. I don't want to just work with one party. My project, Fight for Peace, is a political project, a policy led by a sportsman who seeks peace for his people, not a politician who tries to kill and impose his own rules. You know, the night of my fight, everyone, every small trader had closed their business to watch my fight. It's an honor for me and my team. We organized something for all Afghans. We united Afghans and brought smiles to the people of Afghanistan. It's a source of great pleasure for me. Oh, I'm just trying to make sure that I'm not going to get too much.